So I'm going to do a quick video on how to change the, the wheels on the Brava, the iRobot Brava. This is a, a 380T model. Uh, in some countries it's marketed as the Mint. Um, this robot's about two years old, we love it, but the tires, the rubber comes off the tire and then the robot's basically useless. Now there are some kits you can buy on the internet that where you can simply glue a flat piece of uh, tire back on and then uh, what I wanted to do though is I wanted to actually buy all new tires instead of simply glue something on the on the tire. So if you go to eBay or Amazon for about 16 or 17 US dollars you can have a set of tires shipped to you. Unfortunately um, the tires arrived this morning and there's no instructions on how to take this robot apart so I thought I'd do a quick video on how to change the tires which is only a few dollars more than actual gluing the uh, the rubber on the tire. So there's four screws on the on the uh, 380 or the mint. There's one, two, three, four. The, a Phillips screwdriver, I'll take those out. I've already taken those out. I flip the robot back over and just kind of slowly take this cover off. When you take the cover off, you'll see there's a, a wire going to the circuit board. So if you, you just take that off with your fingers, it'll come off. And this is the inside of your robot. So as you can see, the tires there, there's my broken tire. And here I've changed this tire already. So I'll just sh quickly show you how to change this tire. Um, on the tire, there's a wheel cap. It's kind of like a hub cap for a car. And what you want to do is get two, just two regular screwdrivers. What you want to do is stand the robot up. Or not. So you want to put the screwdriver, there's three notches. I don't know if you can see that. There's three notches on the tire and there's basically clips on the wheel cover. And, and I'll show you that. There's three notches on the wheel cap and they line up. And then there's three notches there. So what you got to basically do is stick a very, very thin screwdriver where the three notches are. And, and just pry it off. And it'll just pop off. The last one I took off just flew across the table after I got the screwdriver in. Of course, the last one went without the video on came right off real easy. So I'll pry that out, stick a screwdriver in here. One let go. So if we go over to another side here. We should be able to get him to pop right off. And like I said, he just flies off. Now, once you take the the wheel cap off, you'll notice there's a little black uh, pin here to hold the wheel on. And so, if you put a screwdriver, um, put a screwdriver inside that pin, and you want to make sure in case this flies off, you're able to figure out where it goes. Put a screwdriver inside this black pin here. And you should be able just to pop this the black pin off. This is holding the the tire on the rim. And that's what that is. It's just a little black clip to hold the the tire on the axle. So put that aside and you just, if you give the tire a little tug, it'll come right off. Make sure you don't lose this part. This part holds the tire in place. Take your new tire, make sure you line it up. It's got a flat spot on it, so it's got to be lined up with the flat spot when you put it on. See the flat spot. There it is. Okay. 
push it on all the way. And then I'll put the axle clip on. It's got a flat spot in it as well, so make sure it goes on the right way. Push it in with a screwdriver so it's inside the hole. Otherwise you won't be able to get your clip on to go over top of that. Push it in nice and tight. Get your black clip and same thing, you've got to line it up with the flat spot as well. And then you'll push it on with two screwdrivers. Hold it with your one finger. Push the other side on with another screwdriver. You don't want to lose this guy. Should be good to go. Oh, nice. Put the hub caps on, or the wheel caps they call them. If you lose these, they're about $10 as well. Just make sure the clips line up. There's three clips on it. I actually sharpened mine before I took them apart, but it doesn't matter. So put these on. Just give them a push. Oops. Line it up. Snap that in. Find the other one. Powder in. Reconnect the power. four screws in so let's go for a little walk first <laughs> 